Okay, so now we're recording and I'm going to show you quickly how to do a laser. So go DXF viewer and the first thing you want to do is you'll see right here load configuration recipe and we are going to use, you'll notice, this is in C colon Repetrel recipes and it's laser foam 400. That means it's 400 is the speed I'm running it at and the paper test is the same thing but it runs faster. So I'll click that. Now I've selected the recipe I'm going to use. Next it's time to read a DXF file and create the full speed from it. So I am clicking on that and let's go to a circle that I think I wanted to do. So we'll just see how that looks. And there it is. So you see the shape that I've elected to do. Now you can see that the G-code is already loaded up over here and uh, it goes into the main folder. You may have to get out and back in. I think we forget to erase some stuff anyway. Uh, if you look over here, you see where the laser power is set up at P. So here I have P of 100. If you want lower power, just change the power to 10. That, that would be 10%. Uh, and this is the speed. So if you want to do a quick test print, you're going to change that to 1400 and now you can go to the viewer and you should be able to see it okay and you can you see now you'll see here it's actually off the grid and to change that you of course would be able to tell it to move to a new location and I am just giving it some numbers here and that's how you reset your origin and now if we come look at your numbers, looks pretty good. See how they're negative numbers? That's why we had to give it an offset. And that's just the way it's, uh, it's coming in from the DXF. If the drawing were uh, drawn, it would have been better for it. And then all you have to do is press the uh, Run Job button once it's hooked up. This computer's not hooked up, so that's it. Anyway, I hope this helps you, Twight.